Hi, my name is Mike Hill and I'm Mohawk from the Italian Niagara Mohawk Territory. And today we're going to speak a little bit about the um, wampum belts and wampum strings. Wampum belts and wampum strings go very far back in the history of the Haudenosaunee people. They can be used to convey messages, they can be used as, a, as a, an agreement, uh, as a contract, and they can use also be used also to uh, signify um, somebody's uh, role, whether they're a clan mother or one of the Confederacy chiefs. With the wampum belts and wampum strings, they're made of wampum beads. They're originally made of wampum beads that came from parts of the round clam and pieces of the round clam would be broken up and broken into little cubes where they would be smooth and made smooth and then they turn around they drill the holes through them and make the beads. Uh, they're also referred to as quahog, that's the round clam. And then they could use the colored part of the inside of the clam as the purple part to use the purple part for make the purple beads and then the white part was the white beads. Um, what am I talking about here? With the with the beads, it's a very fine tool that they used, uh, whether it was a, a separate bone that was used to drill it out to make it. Take the beads and then they turn the beads and put them on strings. And from the strings, it could either be used as a uh, wampum string or they would bind them all together uh, in several rows to make a wampum belt. Two of the most popular belts and recognizable belts is the Hiawatha belt. And that's the belt uh, for the League of the Five Nations. It's the four squares with the triangle with the tree in the middle, and the tree also represents the Tree of Peace. And in the four squares with the tree represents each one represents one of the five nations. The little piece on the end, if you notice, that the connecting lines that connects everything together sticks out to the end, and that is to welcome any other nations into the peaceful Confederacy. The that's the Hawaii, Hiawatha one. The two row wampum is also a popular one, and that's the agreement with the Haudenosaunee people and the first Europeans that we had contact with, which were the Dutch people. The two row wampum is on a bed of white, which represents the uh, peaceful world. And then the two rows, one row of purple and white, or one row of purple, two rows of purple and white separated, and they travel parallel to each other. And what that represents is the Dutch traveling in their boat and the Haudenosaunee traveling in their canoe. They travel along side by side together and one, doesn't, one is, doesn't interfere with the other in the way they operate. And they're there to help each other if they're needed. But other than that, they don't affect how the, uh, each other operates their own vessel. And that's the agreement with the Dutch and the Haudenosaunee. With, um, what have I got? So with wampum strings, there's more of those around, and same thing, the, the way the beads are, the length of the bead, the color, the shape of the bead, uh, they put them together and each one has a distinct individual meaning. From some of those can represent, uh, it could be an invitation, a wampum string could be a, a call for mourning, uh, it could be a call for counsel, and then other ones represent people uh, and roles. Certain, each clan mother has a uh, wampum string that identifies that clan mother. And then each of the 50 chiefs of the Confederacy also have an individual uh, wampum string and that wampum string is for that chief. If uh, one of the chiefs or clan mothers passes or they're removed and it's the role goes to another person, that wampum string goes to the next person and stays with them. Wampum string could be to prove authenticity that a runner carrying a message is authorized to bring this message and to carry it on to the next person. And it could be done that way. Some of the wampum strings are used. The, uh, there's a circular one with 50 separate strands and it represents the Confederacy and the, the Grand Chiefs uh, of the Council of Chiefs. Um, in a nutshell, that's the use of quahogs and, uh, quahog and the clam and the uh, wampum beads, if you will, for 
whether it's in a wampum belt or a wampum string.